Hey, what's up, y'all? We're back with another action figure review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the C1 Zhu Shang 112 Trainee Witch Nana Hoshikawa. Excuse me if I mispronounced the name a little bit, but I got this figure from bombusby.net. First purchase from their site, and I'm pretty satisfied, so I can check them off and mark them as legit and keep it moving. And shout out to the guy that referred this figure to me from my last video, the Science Cat Lady Sunflower. I put a link for that in the description below. I missed your name, too. But this figure... It's pretty cool. Just a heads up, this figure is currently sold out on Bomb Busby, and they're sold out in a couple different places actually, but Big Bad Toy Store does have these figures up for pre-order. So I would mess around with them before you resort to the aftermarket on eBay. Now I know I'm not alone when I say I love the whole school girl theme. From Street Fighter Alpha Cyquil to High Rise Invasion and Sailor Moon. So I always get excited when I hear about figures that are good that are in Sailor outfits. So this figure actually comes at a really good height too. Just about six inches makes her about 15 centimeters these brownish reddish wraps are exclusive to her feet but i think the color kind of goes well with the rest of her accessories she does have small feet though so it's going to be kind of difficult to balance and you will see me kind of rubbing this figure throughout the video that's because this figure kind of attracts a lot of dust for some reason but there's no fison type of parts with her just in case you were wondering about that functionality wise the worst thing about her physically is going to be her skirt like it looks really good i love the way it looks that purple transparent look to it it looks freaking awesome but it just floats and shifts all over the place when you're messing around with the figure essentially you do get two different kind of versions if you pop off her torso you can remove the skirt and there is a part where it can lock on to like her hips if you push the skirt all the way down but once you start messing with that articulation and stuff, that skirt just runs wild and free. Now, I don't want to take any shots against Figma. But this figure right here is like the new standard for animated waifu type figures. Nice little flexibility at the bow. The hair is done really good. These pigtails right here, airbrushing for days. Nice little sculpt work and details. The line work, the bangs look really good. You can do anything you want with these pigtails, as you should. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, you get good range with these pigtails. This figure is freaking awesome. Now, there are some other issues with the figure for starters her head is kind of floppy on that neck joint right there like straight out of the package it was like moving all over the place and they put it on this small double ball joint i had to stuff some paper in there now what works kind of fine like it holds the pose a little bit better but i wish they had the foresight to kind of see that being an issue as i mentioned you can't pop the torso off it's a little more than a pop it takes a little bit of force but you can remove that skirt it's got a nice little squishiness to it exposing the rest of her body look at those glutes glutes <laughs> This part right here for her mid torso, I don't know what they use for that, man, but it's done really good. I like the wrinkles and stuff going on for it. It looks almost like cellophane. And like when you kind of rotate it around and stuff, you can kind of see different colors inside of it too. So that's pretty cool. For your accessories. So she's got a lot of different faces. I'm not even going to run through all of these right here. I haven't seen this many faces since like maybe the SH figure while Sailor Moon or something. All of these faces look good. Nice little detail. That printing for the eye work looks good. The facial expressions look pretty good. The white dots around her cheeks, that rosy redness, man. This figure looks like it jumped straight out of an anime. This is so cool. And of course, you got to have your crying face as with any typical anime. And this one looks really good, too. I really like that. And you got your happy face right here. That's done awesome as well. Good faces, man. One thing I noticed about the faces, though, like, if you got to be careful how you're swapping out the part, you could already see it bleeding on the side, like some smearing and stuff. And her last face right here, that's a fun one. Then you got a couple different hand options, too. Peace sign, point and finger. You got your Sailor Moon type of hands. Fist hands, grip hands. And then you have her weapon here. It's a pitchfork trident type of thing. I'm not sure what it's called. They tell the name for it in the instructions. This looks really cool. I do like the shading, the blending transition from that pinkish red to that reddish brown type of color. It looks almost like blood. You can separate it at both ends. You can use her grip hands to grip it. The hole for that is kind of small. So your cross usage with any other accessories are going to be kind of limited. But it does fit in nice and snug. And I think the rod is metal. So that's a cool touch. But as you can imagine, her weak wrist pegs can't hold the accessory up. So that's kind of unfortunate. Luckily, they do include an adapter for that. You can use the hookup with the stand provided. And this is a nice stand. I'd, I'd like it. Holds pretty well. You also get a couple of adapters for her buddy right here. And this is done really good. It's a cat i think he's a demon and she's a witch 
this is done really nicely. I really like it. It doesn't have any articulation to it as far as I know. So that is unfortunate. Got a flex for the wings though. I don't think there's a rotation for the tail. But the paint job looks pretty cool. That airbrushing. And he's got his ball of yarn here. I believe this is all one sculpt with the body. But the paint job is done fairly nice. That's pretty cool. I love the variations for the colors. That's probably a magical ball of yarn right there. And I already have one of his adapters assembled. You just hook it up to the stand nice and simple. I did forget to show the other adapter. But it curves at an angle. So that's pretty cool. And then you have her feet. She comes with a couple different feet options as well. This one is kind of curved a little bit. It's like seductive. Got a, the big toe pointing up. That's kind of interesting right there. And then you have these toes right here, which are kind of like she's tiptoeing or something. Maybe she's got her foot off the side of the bed while she's doing something productive. <laughs> And she does come on an alternate side foot for each of those. And then you have this other set of feet right here. These ones are a little more flat footed. I tried to swap everything off to see if she would balance a little better on these, but they're too small as well. So either way, you're going to have some trouble balancing. And the instructions say you do want to heat this up before you swap them out. So be careful about that. Here, I'd just like to take a second to marvel at the different options you can get with her pigtails. This is such a cool touch for an action figure to have. I love it. And then you have her cat hat accessory. Now, I don't know the significance of this accessory maybe it's like some type of voltron sailor moon thing where the cat combines with the chick i don't know but it looks pretty cool same paint applications as her little buddy accessory and that's all done fairly clean it does have a ball hinge as well for the back for its tail that's pretty cool you can spin it around rotate it all that good stuff the tail does have a flex to it and it does have a magnet too that connects for her head you can pop that on and off that's pretty cool and then you have her mini trident which is cool looks like a fork and then you have her last accessories which are her palm attack hands i don't know what these are called as well but yeah apparently it's some type of thing where they're like combining or something like that that's pretty cool the cat just sits on her head i guess but yeah these things don't have a flex or anything they're not they're hard plastic and lastly she does come with some extra wrist pegs and some extra pegs for her ponytail and i'm pretty sure these are going to come in handy and that's it for the accessories man i felt like a long road covering that but as you can see man she comes with a load of different options if i had one thing i'd say she could have used would be like an effect part that would have been kind of cool you can kind of wrap it around her staff or something like that as far as her look man i tried thinking about it and i really honestly have no complaints on the way she looks she looks really pretty they did a good job for the look i'm gonna give her a perfect 10. For her accessories, I might give her a 9.5. That energy effect would have took her over the top. For your articulations, real quick, I just want to mention about the pigtails. It would be nice if you can kind of get those in a T pose, kind of like Pippi Longstalking. I mean, it's not a huge deal or anything, just an observation. So her hair can go down a pretty decent amount. That's not too bad. As far as looking up, though, she can't look up that much. This actually is done a little bit better since it's kind of halfway on the pig. But yeah, so as you can see, she can't look up that much. So I kind of wish they did put a joint at the neck. That would have been kind of cool. We already went over the hair. Of course, she's got the forward rotation, decent little side to side motion. That's not too bad right there. The arms, you can get those bad boys pretty far out. That's not too bad right there. I like that. You do get a swivel at the bicep. Her elbows can go in about that much. You do have that universal hinge of rotation at the wrist. Her boobs will not flex and there's no butterfly joints. You can't get those arms in any further than that. That is a huge bummer right there. Probably the worst thing about her articulation. Oh yeah, and then her ab crunch going forward isn't really that good either. There's a shift motion though at that torso, so you can kind of finesse it to etch out just a little bit more. But as you can see, it doesn't make much of a difference. But you do get your side to side motion and that's looking fairly decent. There is a rotation right there as well. There's only one joint at the torso though, so that's a little unfortunate. As far as the leg range though, it's not too bad actually. Like she can get it all the way out and then it starts to curve out a little bit. And of course it's going to make that skirt piece flop up a little bit there's a really tight thigh swivel on her so you want to be real careful with your thigh swivel on this chick as far as the knees though she's got pretty good range at the knees that's more than you get from most figments so that's a little unfortunate right there she can get her legs going back a fairly decent amount too it starts to curve a little bit but that's pretty good range right there you do have a rotation at the ankles and she does have a good little ankle rocker as well there's also a rotation at that foot man i don't know how i miss showing off that ankle range but she's got some really good range going inward that boat art takeover range have no fear and lastly you can get her foot to go up and down a pretty good amount too so she could have used more range at the head she definitely could have used more range at the torso and that arm range going inward she won't be able to dual wheel for nothing so that's kind of shy but she does have some good range at those ankles so i'm going to give her I'm going to have to give her an 8 foot articulation. I did notice when you're moving this figure around, the joints at her pigtails and her wrists do kind of separate. So you got to be mindful about that. But other than that, her joints are actually pretty good. It's pretty tight, actually. So I'm going to give her a quality of 8.5. For some quick size comparisons, here we have her next to the Jada Toy 
always, Ryu, your SH Figure Art Sakura, and your Manatee Industry Emmy. Next, here we have right next to your Figma Rider 2.0, your SH Figure Art Sailor Venus, your Marvel Legends figure, and your Big Firebird Build Sunflower. And lastly, here we have right next to your Shark Toys Tiffa, your Classified Series Snake Eyes, and your Quarto Boogia. Zero model kit. So final thoughts on the C1 Ju Shane training witch Nana Hoshikawa. I think this figure is an awesome figure. She's mostly pretty solid. I gotta say though, I only paid like maybe 65 ship to get this from Bone Busby. Big Bad Toy Store has this figure for like $109 or something. That's kind of outrageous for me. So for that price, I couldn't recommend her. But if you could find her for a cheaper price anywhere else, like I would definitely hop on it if you got the money to spend for it. I don't regret having this figure at all. She's pretty cool. So final score, I think I'm actually going to give her a 9. Surprised your ass, didn't I? All right, y'all, that's my video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.